sunglasses to puppy dogs. They're actually not puppies anymore, I don't think, but they act like little little puppies anyways. Tom Dropic is with us, and now he's got his dogs that are part of the dog dogs competition, and you've traveled around for quite a while, and these guys have jumped off some docks in their day, I'm guessing. They have. I've actually been through a few docks in my day. I've been doing this for 16 years. This is our third year here at the Gold Pro <laughs> Games. I'm very excited about that. Yeah. Yeah. I'm hoping that the weather stays as nice as it is this morning. We does, did come through some rain. And... Does the weather affect the dogs? Uh, not a, no, not at all. Actually, they prefer to be a little cooler. Yeah. You know, they're they're we're from Minnesota. Yeah. They they're used to that cold weather up there in the Northland, so yeah. they prefer to be. But really, even if it's warm, it, it really doesn't. I mean, we're jumping into a beautiful pool and the water's cool. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I, I think it's great. I love the dog dogs competition. I love to see. Uh, I actually love more than seeing the dogs that do really good. I like seeing the dogs that run up and then stop and kind of just flop in because you never know what you're going to get when it's game time for the puppies, right? That's right, and it's, that's a beautiful thing about Doc Dogs is we open it up to anybody that wants to play the game, whether you have seasoned dogs like these or, or the newbies come in, they're all welcome. And, and they like to get you know special uh, attention if they want, they can get some training if they want, or they can just come out and play. Uh, the audience loves it. The audience doesn't care if they jump 100%. 30 feet or three feet. It's they one of the it. best interactive activities here. Let us uh, meet your puppies here. I'll let yeah, you know who's who. this is Rocky Jr. We call him RJ. I own his father. He's a five-year-old purebred. Oh, you Labrador. own his dad? Did his dad jump? Yeah, his dad. Absolutely. His dad. His dad passed on. His dad passed oh, on of old Rocky age. Rocky Jr. Unfortunately, they're only here for us, with us for a few short years. So, uh, yeah, but he's... So my, make the most of it. Yeah, so he's, and he's an excellent jumper. You know, people come out and watch him. He's, How he's, old is he? He's five years old. Okay, okay. Awesome. And then who's this monkey? And this is Remy. Remy is actually a mixed breed. He's a foster. I uh, adopted him in 2000. And 10, he was uh, he had nowhere to go. They're actually going to um, put him down because they had nowhere to take him. So I took him, and Remy is now an actually a five-time world champion. We were out here last year at the GoPro Mountain Games, and he won the Speed Retrieve and also won the Iron Dog. So we're back here defending Come our on. title. No, I'm serious. He's been to the World Championship five straight years, took home the cup every year. Where do they have the Worlds? Uh, it's uh, Well, in uh, 2011, it was in Canton, Ohio, and then every year after that, it's been in um, Dubuque, Iowa. Now, let me ask you about the GoPro Mountain Games because, I mean, I know I'm a, I compete in the fly fishing every year and, and I don't ever get to fully enjoy the, the GoPro games because I'm too busy in competition, but um, is this considered one of the good venues for the Dock Dogs? Do you like the whole program here? I mean, is it, is it like the other ones? Is it a little bit different or are they all kind of the same? No, it's one of the best. It in is. fact, okay, Doc Dogs has a, a year-end bank where we, where we vote for the best events, best athletes, all this, these, we call it an awards gala. And the competitors vote the GoPro Mountain Games as the best event for the, for the year. And it's won that award the last two years. That's I awesome. I imagine it'll win it again this year. A lot of big competitors come in. A lot of the top competitors from around the country come here because it's such a great event. And they know the other top competitors are here. Totally. Competing. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay. To take down Remy. <laughs> so when is uh, Rocky Jr. and Remy, when do they have their qualifying rounds? Great questions. We do compete this afternoon at 4 o'clock. They're all qualifiers now. And uh, we'll compete all day tomorrow. And then uh, hopefully come back for the finals on Sunday. Hopefully. Remy's yeah, got yeah. <laughs> Remy's gonna be up there and Rocky Jr. hopefully is gonna be close behind. Do they ever put GoPros on the dogs and jump they in the have. water with them? They have. There's actually if you go to GoPro's website, you'll see there's a video of Remy from the twenty fourteen games and it was an outstanding video. He actually catches the toy in the air. They got the chest mounted camera, catches it in the air, you see that. So yeah, he does a lot. It's been my favorite interview of the day right here. I love the puppies. It's nice talking to you, nice Tom. Talking to you, Good man. luck with everything, you. you guys. Swing on over to Golden Peak. Check out the dog dogs. Say hello to Remy. Cheer Remy on. Cheer Rocky. Rocky Jr. is just kind of chilling out right now, but they're excited to get in the water. I think that's great, Tom. So congrats to all the wonderful accolades that this dog has had, and Rocky Jr. not far off his tail. No pun intended. We'll be right back with more Good Morning Vale. Tracy's going to have your weather. We'll take a look at the roads, and we're going to be interviewing Mike Freeberg.